today's food video, we are going to be eating nothing but desserts. We're at a little place in Lima that's called La Tiendecita Blanca. And we're pretty sure this is actually a little Swiss cafe, not Peruvian. But they do have some Peruvian dishes here. So we've ordered Suspiro a la Limeña and Merengado de Chirimoya. And the last one is Torta Tres Leches, which I'm pretty sure was not invented in Peru, but you can find it almost everywhere. So we're going to be sampling those three today. It's going to be sugary. start out with the most authentic of all the three desserts. This one is called Suspiro a la Limeña and that means the sigh of the woman from Lima. What a name for a dessert. Wow, seriously. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I've ever you know, heard of a dessert that has quite a name like that. So this thing of beauty originated in the city of Lima in the 19th century. It's a very popular dessert. Yeah. And that looks good. And apparently it has manjar blanco, yeah. which is kind of like the dulce de leche of Peru. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with egg yolks. Egg yolks, not egg whites. <laughs> and what's the other one? It has vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. Oh my gosh, I can, I can remember two out of three today, it seems. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Mm. Ooh, oh, that looks so thick. It looks so thick like a like a thick pudding. I've never had this before, so this is exciting. Oh, wow. That's like the best butterscotch pudding I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Wow, you really taste the, uh, the Manjar Blanco. Mm -hmm. It has a rich, like, kind of caramel milk, milky kind of consistency. And it's really thick and creamy, but also extremely sweet. Like this is just oh, so is jolted this, by the sugar. Is it a hot or a cold dessert? Because I haven't had any yet. It is. It's actually lukewarm. Lukewarm. It's actually lukewarm. Okay, it's so it's not hot. Or, yeah, it's assumed, served at room temperature. And if you see this lovely little swirl on top, that is some meringue. And it looks a little bit purple because it's made with port wine. It has a tiny hint of port wine and then cinnamon on top. Wow. So this so. this is this is a decadent dessert. You're definitely gonna want to try if you're visiting Lima. Yeah. One more bite then. One more bite. One more bite. One more bite. Mm. Just to prove that. To prove that you really did enjoy it. Mm. Number two, we are having something called. Merengado de Chirimoya. Ooh la la. And don't be fooled by this little fruit on the side. This is not Chirimoya. Chirimoya is actually a big green fruit. It almost looks like a giant avocado and inside it has a white flesh. So yeah, that's in here and it's been mixed with manjar blanco, which is similar to dulce de leche. Um, let's see if I can find some of it. Oh wow, that looks really thick and decadent. Yeah, so it's like fruit and manjar blanco served chilled with meringue on top. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice combination. Is the it fruit refreshing? Itself, it is refreshing because it's been served chilled. But the fruit itself, chirimoya, it doesn't have that strong of a flavor. So what I mostly taste is the manjar blanco and just like a hint of a tangy fruit in the back. And so yeah, it's nice. I wish I could find a good chunk of fruit, but it's like white. White and fleshy. It's kind of hard to see, but it is in there. So apparently Mark Twain once tried chirimoya and he said it was the most delicious fruit known to man. So that's high praise for chirimoya. And I think in English it's actually known as a custard apple. But I mean, I've never used that expression before. It just sounds wrong. <laughs> it does. What is a custard apple? So I don't know. But the dessert is good. I can recommend it. Oh, and did we mention that it has a meringue on top? And the meringue, it also looks a little bit purple because they've added some port wine. So that's nice. Let's just break that apart. Look at that. Wow. Ooh la la. I know it looks messy, but it's good. 
And last but not least, we are having the non-Peruvian dessert, which is really popular in Peru. Yeah, the, tr so. the tres leches one. Yeah. And that means three different kinds of milk. So we've got the evaporated, mm -hmm. we've got the cream, and what's the other one? Condensed. Condensed. <laughs> I, I almost forgot. A lot of milks to remember. Yeah, it is. Let's dig right in. Time to dig in. And I can tell at the bottom it's already really soggy. So I think those trees leches are seeping down right to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you really taste the different the different milks, like that's the overwhelming thing. It's kind of different from a normal cake, which is dry. This is kind of a wet cake. Yeah. And yeah, you really taste the milk. It's very sugary too. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, I, I definitely like it. And if you take a closer look, you can actually see that it's a sponge cake. So it does a pretty good job of soaking those three milks. And on top we have some cream, some whipped cream, strawberries. strawberries. And this right here is called aguaymanto. Having trouble focusing, but there it is. So apparently there's no equivalent in English. I guess this is very Just Peruvian. In it Try it. Sweet or sour? That's the question. Ooh. Very sour. Very sour. Very sour. <laughs> Maybe a little too sour for my liking. <laughs> so the question is, are you on a sugar high or do you need a siesta? I'm on a sugar high. I should be like surfing on a pile of sugar. Forget forget the water, forget the waves. Whipped cream waves. <laughs> Whipped cream waves, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the price for those three desserts. So it was 48 pesos, which is just under 15 US. Pesos? What country oh, are God. we in, Sam? 48 souls. Oh, my God. 48 souls? You know what? We've, we've been in countries with pesos often. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> I wake up and I don't know where I am. Okay, so 48 <laughs> soles, which 48 be... soles, which is just under 15 US dollars. Not bad value. I mean, you can get these desserts cheaper, but this is a little bit more of a fancy restaurant, and the quality here is excellent. Yeah. The, the food is really good. 